All right, it's been a while since that I've uh, been a while since I've done anything on the gas fire, but as you can see, that I've been awful busy on here. Now, this is what we got. This is the main tank. Um, it's a lid. It's cut off here. We were uh, we were just checking a little while ago, which I'll do later. Um, but I'll show you the inside of that in a little bit. But basically, what this is is you got your. Uh, I cut it. I cut the top lid off. And then I cut the, another uh, ring off. I set down a, a flange, cut around flange, welded it in here, welded it back on. Then you got your fire tube that sits down inside of there, and it's um, it's bolted in. I'll show that to you later. Basically, what you have here is. You have your inlet. This is a one-way valve to, for air to come in. Um, it unscrews. You take it off. It screws into the bottom half of the uh, fire tube. Daddy! Yeah. Look at my face. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, this right here is where you where you come in and you light it. Underneath there, there's a shaker. I'll show that later. Put the lid on it. You come around this way. Basically, what happens is there's a small fire down, a small hot, hot fire down in the bottom of here inside the fire tube. Um, this air, the air comes in through here, in the bottom of the fire tube. There's a nipple on the outside of the fire tube that allows the gas to come in and fill up this area. It comes down here. This is a two-inch pipe that I welded in here. Comes down. This is my makeshift radiator, uh, which. We'll see if it works or not. Comes up, pipes in down here, comes up to the top. As Ryan likes to say, I screwed up. I probably should have come in because heat rises and let the air come out and suck it down here and up it over. But anyhow, come on over here. This is, I had to make this elbow right here. So I 45 the pipe, made the elbow come through. This is a, uh, I, uh, I got tape on here because I didn't tighten this down and I just wanted to see why we give it a test run. Um, this right here is a cyclonic or cyclone filter. Um, on the bottom down here, uh, I've got a piece of uh, access pipe right here. You just unscrew it. Wow, that, that probably should have been sealed up. That probably was a little bit of a problem too. Um, anyhow, what you do is you take that off. Um, and you pack um, filtering material up inside of there. You can use wood chips. Best thing they say uh, is hay. Um, but anyhow, you pack that full. Um, the, the idea is, is the air spins around through there, cools it down a little bit, <clears throat> goes through the hay. Um, this pipe goes all the way down to about mm, an inch or two from the bottom. Okay, and so it comes circles around and pulls up the the uh, the air. Um, eventually what I'll do is I'll take a one inch pipe, drill a hole in here, I'll weld that in here and that'll go off to my engine. Got right here, got a cut off valve, an on and off valve for this. Okay, this is the blower. And what you do is you turn the blower on, you get down there, you light it, and the exhaust starts coming out of here. Um, just as I expected, there is moisture in there. So, um, and so the exhaust comes out this way, and you light it. You keep after about five minutes, the the, the heat in there starts to to uh, heat up the wood, turns it into gas. Uh, once that's done, uh, you would light it here, which I'll show in a minute. And all of a sudden, once it ignites, then you got good that. You turn it down, cut this valve off, you'd run your hose to your engine and go from there. 